hi, how are you today? So in today's video, I want to talk to you about this full moon. It's the harvest moon. So traditionally around this time of year in the Northern Hemisphere, we harvest. But what are we harvesting? Okay, we're not just harvesting pumpkins and apples and things like that. This is a time where your soul is gathering in all of the stuff from the timelines. Remember the timelines from my previous videos where I talked about ending certain timelines. You had the Lion's Gate, you ended timelines. You had another new moon where you're ending timelines. There is good stuff when you end something, you're carrying the good stuff forward. Even if it feels kind of brutal when you end it. Those endings are still playing out too. So be aware that during this full moon, a lot of people are going to be ultra sensitive. They're going to be irritable. They're probably going to catch a sniffle. They're probably going to, you know, grate on your nerves too. The reality is we all got to kind of be as harmonious and balanced as we can be. So in this full moon, the harvest moon, you will probably feel the exhaustion of the long harvest because it's like you've been dragging in everything, dragging in everything that has been tired and old and sifting and sorting and not allowing it to clutter up your space, energetically speaking. But there are other things that closure is coming to that are going to be playing out. And this is going to be the ending of long-term relationships in some ways because they're just not supported. I want to let you know what this journey does and it's not doing it to you, it's doing it for you. When we have energies like a full moon, Okay, a lot of people are affected by the full moon. It pulls at the water in your cells. It pulls at the tides. It creates different weather patterns, especially around this time of year. We had the equinox. We have had a series of events that are like boom, 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 boom. So now you get to this point and you're saying, what are, what are you really you know, supposed to focus on. It's always you. Focus on you and where this is going because the other piece of that focus is going to be what is no longer supported. When you get activated, there are old things that are no longer going to be sustained for you. They're not going to be kept in place for you to always have that habit or have that old relationship or that old tired, worn out thing. You're here to really be new. I'm here to help you really be new and become adept at this, use your skills, use your gifts and start getting them open so that you can thrive in the world. So you are leaving many things undone. What does that mean? It means kind of like, you know what? Time's up, game over, leave it, walk away. It's finished even if you didn't finish it because given your you know, druthers, a lot of people would, and I'm saying you in a general way, all of us, given our druthers, we would rather stay with something because it's familiar than to be new. Why? Because of the fear of the unknown. But you don't have to be afraid. This is a part of the plan. Leave those things undone. Don't try to work certain things out. Some things you do work out, some things you don't. I am here to help you with that discernment. And I highly recommend that if you need help with this, have a session because we need to get this focus and you can't be willy-nilly and scattered and overwhelmed and exhausted. Here to help you get your energy back and get you on track. This is readying you to step forward. But until that happens, you may feel restless. You may be waking up almost every night or several times a night, three, four times a night. It's 2.22, it's 3.33, it's 4.44, and you're finally not caring about those numbers because all you want is sleep because you need to get to sleep because you got to work or you got responsibilities and you have to attend to that during your daytime. So you need your nighttime to be full of really good sleep, really good dreams, really good elevated levels, which are intended to be new also. You can begin to feel irritated or annoyed. And you're even gonna feel things like, I really don't care what I'm harvesting, but I just like, yeah, I'd like to be giving up because you know what, I maybe I didn't want this or I couldn't do it. No, you can, you're can. you gonna do it. You're either gonna be dragged along, like you're dragged along behind a pickup truck and that's the hard way, or you could do it the easy way, which is my way, the twin flame, 
reconnection way. A couple of things to help you. I have this book that I've written, Twin Flame, Ascension, Sleep and Love. And this is a very good book. This is the book I wish I had when I was kept up for almost a two month straight period and it showed. I was not able to get quality sleep. People started asking me, are you sleeping? And I was like, how do you tell someone? No matter what I'm doing, I'm getting woken up. I'm like trying everything. I even got some homeopathic sleep remedy stuff, didn't help. I cut out coffee, didn't help. There's a lot of things you can eliminate so that you get better sleep, but there are things to know about when you're in ascension, when you've been activated. If you had a twin flame activation or spiritual awakening, it's time to do this at a new level. And you're not gonna be able to without some guidance. And that's what I have. So get my book. I have a module where I have that and it offers coaching. Would you like some one-on-one -on -one coaching to really help you tweak this, focus it, nail it, get it right? Because the good part about the sleep is one hour of sleep at a lucid dreaming level beyond the alpha state is like taking a 10 hour deeply refreshing sleep. Your tissues are refreshed. Your spirit is refreshed. Your energy is refreshed and you feel good. There are aspects of sleep that you may or may not know are important for your eyeballs and your eye tissues, your heart tissue. If you're not getting sufficient sleep and you're just like at the grind, at the grind, at the grind, it's going to show and it takes a toll on the physical organs. You can have fatigue that you don't even know how to get rid of. I know how to budget. I know how to get that going and get you on track and getting you on track so you can step forward. Another thing to mention, I am having my Full Moon Twin Flame Meetup live in Chicago. And we are going to, of course, always, as always, be talking about the moon and love and lovers. And I'm there to answer your questions. I'm gonna do an activation with some essential oils and we're gonna make some really great full moon wishes and there's free parking and snacks and we have a lot of fun. So if you've never been to one of my live events, I am starting them and uh, the pandemic put them off, but I am starting them and check the link below or reach out to me at twinflamereconnection at gmail.com or my website twinflamereconnection. And remember this, if you're feeling irritated or annoyed, other people will be too. Cut them some slack. Give people a break. Don't watch too much of the media because that's always blown up too. It's always way exaggerated. And don't buy everything that they're saying out there, okay? Stick to you and what's happening in your life. And when you need the professional help, I am the professional that is here to help you. I don't dabble in this. I have created a lot of material to help you. And I'm a people person. I like to have fun. So come on and join us. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.